Howdy! It's Amos, the voice streaming style guy. And it's Let's Play Baroque. Let's get right into it. 10 HP and Lethality are restored whenever you inject fluids or you know a bone. Please be aware of tough bones though, since they'll damage your HP. God damn it. As you may remember, <laughs> the most notable thing that happened yesterday. Yesterday. Last episode. <laughs> that's that's a couple of yesterdays behind me at this point. But the most important thing that happened last episode is I went into the tutorial dungeon. So Coffin Man is gonna tell us all about the food mechanics. I'm joking, of course. A lot of a lot of crazy stuff happened. We finally I, you know, I don't want to say we completed our mission. I feel like we did anything but completing our mission, really. Because, <laughs> as stated by the Archangel, we were supposed to purify the Mad God of creation and preservation. I'm not entirely sure if that's what we ended up doing. There's a lot to think about there, right? I, I, while I was editing the episode, I was looking at the, uh, the cutscene that plays and I was trying to figure out if there's any like interesting details I'm missing like are there clues there are some things that are quite interesting for example well first of all confirmation that our player character does seem to have a twin brother or maybe had a twin brother in the past Hold on, before staying here, I am going to eat the flesh, I'm not going to eat the seed because we have a fetch quest to get a hard seed, so I'm going to hold on to that. Hold on, let's, let's hear out Coffin Man, then I'll continue my thought. Your vision goes green if you get poisoned and your HP decreases. Please use an item to cure it or just endure the chills until the effect ends, goddammit. <laughs> okay, learning a little bit of status effects. So... Yeah, our character has or had a twin brother. I have some theories about that, and we have to play a little bit further, I think, to see if that theory is real. Um, but I think it ties together with the post-tutorial cutscene. I'm wondering if that was actually our twin brother, or if there's cloning happening, you know? The way back in the tutorial, they were like, oh, this one is useless or whatever, you know? I'm thinking we might be a clone. Another interesting thing is when that whole thing died, or it happened, when, when Brother A jumped off the tower and Brother B tried to catch him, Brother A turned into feathers upon hitting Brother B. And, again, sorry, punctuated by Coffin Man's tutorial here. Well, you're aroused. Grotesques will look like hot chicks. <laughs> Please use an item to cure their just bliss out. God damn it. So, the only time I've seen feathers like that in the game is... It, it's an effect that happens when you shoot an enemy with an angelic rifle. And I realize I have not done that at all on video yet so i went ahead and recorded uh, a quick example of what it looks like so you shoot you know it's just like a power beam type of situation a power orb i suppose and then the enemy that you shoot sort of dissolves into feathers. It's not instant the way that it happened for Brother A in that cutscene, but I wonder if that's somehow related and I actually also wonder what the significance of that animation is, because I don't know in particular. So that's just one kind of thing to entangle, right? What's up with the feathers? Because something's definitely up with the feathers. There's significance in the feathers, to, to paraphrase the Archangel. There's also, I mean, the whole imagery of whatever was going on with the god and the red screen. 
You won't be able to see very far if you get blinded. Please use an item to cure it or just wander around aimlessly until the effect ends, goddammit. It's funny to me that... He's telling me about status effects, but then... This dungeon isn't really... It doesn't give me the enemies that give me the status effects. <laughs> this is more just like a vehicle for some dialogue to show up, but it's not really learned by doing. Hey, I'll take the free levels. I'll take the free experience. I imagine if we have to go back to the tower... I don't think I swung by where the Archangel's uh, illusion or projection is at the end of the last stream, so I actually have no idea what he's gonna say to us now. But... I assume we're probably going back in the tower. I... In between recording episodes, I took a little glimpse of a friend of mine, LexiVT, has been streaming this game on Twitch and I popped in to say hi I was like she's way ahead of me so I don't want to like spoil myself but I popped in to say hi and it did look like she was still in the tower so I don't know if, I don't think there's gonna be like a second environment necessarily for us to explode here explode explore sorry I was fighting the Jerry Rom so I had explosions on my mind And I suppose I read what the Empress was gonna drop me. I just knew. Oh! Wait. If you hit it while it's trying to explode, you just get... You get the full kill and you get the experience. Otherwise, you don't get the experience. That's cool. Learning every day. Mostly I just wanted to do this tutorial dungeon- Well, you know, maybe there's always the possibility that I will learn about some mechanic that I don't know about. But it's also nice to get a head start on the levels. As I was wondering and thinking... Aloud... Last episode. This time, I think I might want to, like, experience Max. I want to try just popping experience bones constantly. I want to be like level 20 by floor 10 or something. I don't know what a good like benchmark is, but I feel like I want to do better on experience levels than I was last time. Not that it was a problem in that particular case but you know we can always improve i have to assume it's only gonna get harder am i going the right way i guess i it's a loop so anyway is the right way as long as i commit we, we kind of have like a second set of missions now alongside whatever the archangel tells us to do when we meet him again we also have two fetch quests to do. One I already have the item for, I just picked it up earlier in the floor. We have to give a heart seed to the neck thing. Who has buried himself in the ground. <laughs> Remains to be seen what that's all about. Punch them, cut them, pelt them with items, trample them, use attack items, please just beat up grotesque in lots of different ways, goddammit. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Why don't you? Uh, we also have kind of two other fetch quests. One from Alice, which she is being... Um, quite cryptic about what she wants. We don't know what she wants, but we do know that she wants something. And the other one... was given to us by Eliza in Floor 12, where she says she wants pure water. Which pure water, I think, is... I'm, I'm fairly certain now, is a... Hmm, metaphor? 
It's not slang, but you know, it. I think pure water means the idea, Sephiroth. The little spheres that come out. And specifically, she wants my idea, Sephiroth. So far, the only one we've gotten that was named and not just like a passive item we pick up automatically was Coriol's. And she said she didn't want that, so it's not the Coriol one she's looking for. And I suppose it's also maybe... Confirmation, potentially, that I am not Coriol. I don't know if confirmation is the right word. <laughs> Not that I was, you know, assuming that I was Coriol. But things can things feel like they can get quite complex in this in this world, so at least we know for sure that if we are a clone, we're not a clone of Coriol. I was really hoping I could avoid getting hit there. That's fine. The thing I want to get not get hit before is because I have a couple of idiots that I kind of might as well eat now. For, uh... For HP maxing. You know? And I could eat one of the seeds, honestly. Because I only need one... Mmm... You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. What if he's like, more, I need more, bring me three hard seats. It could happen. So I'm just not gonna risk it. You won't be able to move if you get paralyzed. Please use an item to cure it or just panic until the effect ends. I think I think panicking until the effect ends is what I chose to do the last time I got paralyzed. And it worked out for me. I had an invincibility on deck. So that's pretty good. We have a lot of bones. We have a lot of old swords, which I don't really need old swords. Cause the one that we're rocking is a sterilization that I picked up towards the tail end of uh, a very successful run. And so an old sword does about the same, with the sterilization having an added bonus of not getting weaker each time we use it. But I suppose it's good to hold on to it for now in case I need to use it as ammunition for a ranged attack. I'm gonna clean sweep these tutorial floors. I don't think the items we can get here are like particularly mind-blowing but if I can get a coat because I don't have one if I can get a coat I'll be pretty set I'm just going to keep eating the idiot meats gotta say for not having played this in a couple of days, I feel pretty good about having grown a reflex for the diagonal strafe. I was really struggling actually doing it versus thinking I should do it. So it's nice to be... Uh, nice that the muscle memory has caught up with where I am in the game. I have to assume that these smaller versions of the grotesques also give less experience than the big versions because they seem a lot weaker in, in every regard. Like, I would definitely be higher than level 6 at this point. If I was killing that many Jerry Roms and Empresses. But you know, every little bit helps. And it's literally free experience with the sword. Let's see, actually. I have... 376? Wait, that's nothing. Or wait, does the... Do you get experience on a kill or on the idea, Sephiroth? You lose all coordination while you're confused. Please use an item to cure it or just stagger around until the effect ends, goddammit. 
It's quite quaint to me. Okay, that's just 10 experience, uh, and it's on kill. It's quite coin to me the way they uh, localize the coffin man's speech, because his tone is meant to be both rude and polite at the same time, which I do think is a little bit easier to to have that kind of tone and also make it come off as like strange. In Japanese. Oh, hey, there's a coat. And we got another ID worm. Okay, it's a pathetic coat. Let's ID it. I guess I can't. I'm not gonna put on the ID. Or, sorry, the. Uh... Huh? I identified the torture device and identifying it said. Oh. I don't know what this does. I'm actually quite suspicious of the pathetic code because I feel like there's a high chance for it to be uh, cursed. Or, uh... I think it's just called sticky in this game. I don't want to get accidentally stuck wearing a one defense coat on what is likely to be, uh... A more difficult journey than the last. I'm, I'm, man, I'm really thinking about all the events. We found out so much, we got so much new information, comparatively speaking. Like, we found the real Archangel, he's um, impaled by a sense here. Which, that visual is so cool. I think I've seen that, I think they may use that visual as either promo art or box art for a particular version of the game. I don't remember. But I feel like I've seen the Archangel on the Sense Sphere. Seeing him in this game kind of like recalled to me a vision of uh, Visual's past. Speaking of Visual's past, do you guys know there's a manga based on Baroque? It's uh, called Baroque Ketsuraku no Paradigm. And it's uh, done by Ueda Shinshu, I believe, who... I'm not familiar with that name, but I read the first chapter over the weekend, and... At least the first chapter seems to be like a fairly straightforward uh, retelling of, like, at least the opening parts of the game. It has that really fun quality of, a, like, game adaptation. <laughs> you're like, oh, this is basically one-to-one -one the exact thing that you do at the start of the game. <laughs> I like the art. I should read it. I should read the rest of it. Your movement becomes sluggish while you're lethargic. Please use an item to cure it or just drag yourself around. Okay, we're getting kind of the... Um, breakdown of every single status effect in the game. I guess that's why this is 10 floors long. I seem to remember Coffin Man saying this is gonna be 10 floors. We're just getting the rest of the information out of the way. I wonder if this is the last tutorial. Huh. Wait, which floor am I on? I'm on floor 8. Because surely at some point the coffin man runs out of information to give me. And then he'll just be like, No, you're too good. You keep fucking up all my traps. I, I'm, I'm looking for someone who's like worse at the game. <laughs> oh, that's a new sound. No, it's not. It's still the Empress. God, having a stronger sword is just such a... Oddly enough, such a good way to survive longer. I'm thinking about the last time I was in the tutorial dungeon back in, well, like, episode 4. And I nearly died in it. Admittedly, that wasn't really enemy's fault. There is a big part where I just, like, stepped on a trap. That nearly killed me. But still, not having to execute as much strafing 
being able to kill guys in like one or two hits. It's kind of a huge trivia account. Especially getting these little moons in one hit. Because I think even the regular moons were taking me, what, like two to three last time? Something like that. Actually, hmm. Now my attack and defense is still 16-12, the base. I just remembered, right, when I when I was back in the overworld after last run, it said plus two in the inventory screen. I'm, I'm wondering if that means anything beyond that it's like run number two. Your movement becomes sluggish while you're lethargic. You already said this. You already told me about lethargy. Hmm. I'm saving that for later. I'm gonna eat this bone. Okay, you're an experienced bone. Let's just... There's nothing, nothing bad can happen to us from... Tutorial bones. We have so many heart seeds. Oh, yeesh. Scary. <laughs> I was g trying to be sly and pick up the Sephiroth from, uh, from the Empress, and instead she dropped an explosive. And that didn't seem to actually do anything, but... It was scary. Hmm, I'm gonna drop you, I'm going to gnaw you. There we go. We're inventory slot maxing. I probably don't need the 20 old swords that I have on me, but we'll use them for uh, ranged attacks in the future. I've learned so much from my previous run. I'm going to be strategy maxing, I'm going to be experience maxing. It's going to be like a whole new aim so you have never seen before. I guess it I guess some of you, if you haven't seen my streams, you might already be seeing an aim that you haven't seen before. I decided to switch up to my small pair of glasses for today's stream. Don't know why. I just felt like switching it up for today's episode. I decided to abandon the iconic look. I guess if I wanted to fully abandon the iconic look, I'd be swapping out my clothes as well. But it might be a little bit too early for that. You know, Baroque might be a black uh, <laughs> embroidered shirt type of affair. You know, let's use one of those evacuations. Final floor. You have a sword for us? I want to make sure I have an inventory slot for the sword. I don't. Uh, goodbye, old sword. Hello, sword, sword. Let's ID it and see how that one stacks up to the... Uh, serrated? What's the one I have? Sterilization. We have a lot of IDs to spare. Infest... It's a 5 strength sword. Sometimes paralyzes grotesques, really good. May also paralyze you really bad. Unless... Unless we get a wing. If we get one of the wings that prevents paralysis, that could be quite useful. Okay, we have heart seeds. It's time to find neck thing. He usually hangs out around here. Oh, hey, Sentry Angel. It kind of spooked me. I guess he doesn't. I guess I go from Sentry Angel, I go here and I turn the corner. And uh, here? Here you are. I have no right to continue living on this earth, but maybe I can be at peace if I burrow into the ground. Can I get a heart seed? I'm a little hungry. Sure thing, buddy. 
Thank you, thank you. He still wants a heart seed. Maybe I give him another one. I'll just give him all of these. My crystal. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, now are you happy? He still wants heart seeds. I don't know if that dialogue can update off of this. Hard to say. It's miserable. I'm suffering. Why can't we live together? Now I'm thinking... Is this line about the brother that we saw in the cutscene? Or is this line about God? Who... I think we kind of saw our character kind of an embrace with God in that cutscene. I'm also wondering when that cutscene takes place. Because... Initially, I thought like, oh, you know, events happen in sequence, so that means that we got to floor 13 and then the explosion happened. But now I'm kind of thinking that cutscene that we saw with the explosion, that may be the Great Heat Wave, maybe? So that's in the past, perhaps? Because the sky and the earth looked so different in it. Your coffin is pointless now. You're useless. Right on, brother. Okay, let's restore and see what the Archangel has to say. After our last expedition. Successful to me, I don't know if he sees it the same way. Well, he's just not here anymore. Hello? Are you in a different area? I don't think I've been out here before. Whoa! It's a crucifix. Oh, it's multiple cruci... Crucifixes? Crucifixy? I don't know how you're meant to pluralize that. Oh, there's a lot, actually. I thought there was gonna be, like, three in the classical imagery, but... There's, like... There's a lot of them. Okay. Never went all the way out here. Well, the Archangel seems to be... ...missing. I wonder if this is because I didn't shoot the thing with my Angelic Rifle. Speaking of... I don't have an Angelic Rifle anymore. No, I do. Never mind. Did I speak to the Archangel last video? Am I just... <laughs> Uh, I'm so forgetful. I thought I I thought I thought wrote down everything I could have when I was editing. I must have sp spoken to the Archangel. Forget anything I said about not speaking to him. I'm engagement baiting. I'm trying to get you guys in the comments to be like, No, Amos, you spoke to the Archangel? <laughs> I forgot. Sorry. I forgot that happens. It's not the help suffering that got me, it's the loud crash sound effect that got me. It really did get me. Recovery A. Boost my attack by one if I don't need it. Detox cures poison and paralysis. Revolution. Contains revolution items. What's a revolution item? Oh. Changes HP and vitality values. The current amount and demand depleted the reverse. Oh, so if I'm like... If I did it now, I would have free health left. That's a good... Um, that's a good last-ditch effort type of... Atta not a tag, but like an item. I think I'm just gonna use the recovery A right now. I also... I think I'm not gonna mess around with the explosive. That feels like it's inviting um, horrible accidents, in accidents into my house. Okay, let's proceed. Suppose all we have to do is just keep going down. I wonder if these first floors are gonna be changed at all. 
Like, oh, the god has awoken. Awakened? So now... I don't know. Floor 1 is as difficult as floor 8. I'd be down with that. I'd be down with increasing difficulty. It's a novel idea, and I understand I might be controversial for saying so, but... I wouldn't be against the game getting harder as it progresses. Anyone agree with me? <laughs> I know it's a controversial opinion. I know not everyone thinks this way. Hmm. Well, I said I would be experience maxing, but I don't see... This is... Is this gonna be dialogue? This is sometimes a dialogue room. Nutritive, awesome. Evolution. Let's pop the evolutions now. I could save this for later when uh, level... Actually, I should save this one for later. I don't need probably this many detoxes. And I'm gonna save the other evolution for when I'm like level... 15 or something and it actually requires a lot of concentrated effort to actually gain experience Probably could have saved that last one too, but yeah, you know I Don't know if I need to be that optimal in this game Being optimal certainly doesn't hurt I tried to say harm and hurt at the same time there. It doesn't hurt, but I don't know if the game is gonna need me to be like a hundred percent on there. Hey buddy, I'm going to give you a lucky sword. And um hey, let's try synthesizing two swords, right? Because we have these items that aren't gonna do anything else for us. Where'd that other thing go? Here you are. I guess I should be diagonal maxing just when I'm traversing as well because it makes it go by so much faster. Give you this. You cleansed it and you gave me a sword that has free strength. That's probably not a useful sword. I'm going to give you a sword and a torturer. You gave me a torturer. Hmm. Not sure what the exchange is there. Okay, I guess we ate an experience bone. <sighs> I like mechanic. I like crafting in games when it's like kind of mysterious and obtuse, like the Horadra cube. Though, the Horadra cube also kind of ended up being so mysterious and obtuse, I feel like... Maybe I'm just like a casual in Diablo, but I feel like I've never used like 90% of the recipes that are in the Horadra cube. <laughs> They're so... some of them are so specific. I don't know what secretion is for, still, to this day. I don't know when that becomes useful. When does it become useful just to make some grotesque bleed? You know? Stubborn. You're good. Cannot be removed once equipped? Never mind. Maybe you're not that good. It could... you know... We would be locking into having this the entire time. I'm going to carry it around. But I don't know if I'm going to need it. Speaking of things I don't need. What do I not need? Maybe a Serene? Though, these are status effects that's so nice to get, like, not have to worry about. I do want the heal. I don't know if I want the Anonymous. Ah, I'm making a face about this detox. And I'm making a face about the excre- the, not the excretion, the secretion bones. I don't know if that's gonna be, like, 
useful for me. A thunderstorm, however, thunderstorm always comes in clutch. I just skipped this floor, but I realized I should be kind of. Um, I should be fair with the floors. We never know what room might contain like an NPC to talk to. You. Uncomfortable. What do you do? High defense vitality decreases faster when equipped. You know, we might equip this for now because the enduring kind of balances it out. Oh fuck, there is an adhesive! I'm a fool. Well, I'm locked into this now. Way, way, oh. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sure it will be fine. We have so many new tips about how to get our vitality. That's really fast, actually. But we have a lot of tips on how to raise vitality from... from Buddy, from Coffin Man at this point. You come back here, Kato. Come on. Yeesh. I'm imagining how fast it would be without the, uh, without the enduring. I wonder if I can ever, uh, remove an adhesive. I think it's time to say goodbye to the Serene. Skip ahead to, like, next episode where I'm, like getting confused and, and lusted upon constantly just screaming and crying and losing every single fight because i i dropped the serene here i kind of need the uh, enduring is the thing did i pick up the average meat i don't think i did Carrion, not that useful. Pattern ID. Reveals the names of nearby patterns. You know what? I think that's useful. Because we know if something is gonna be a trap or like... A full heal or something. I think that's useful. We're so full in evacuation bones. Oh, fuck, I forgot that I already had. <laughs> I already had the, uh, the exit discovered. There is a meat here, right? I'm not imagining things, I'm not. I feel like eating an average meat like that for the HP max is maybe a little bit of a waste because 99 is a lot of heal to restore, but we have a couple of full heals, so I'm not really sweating it right now. Did I find this code before? Oh yeah, that's so stubborn. <laughs> you really are stubborn. Wait, just I'm gonna pick it up again. Never mind. Hmm. As long as I'm getting into fights regularly, the uh, the vitality depletion from the uh, uncomfortable coat doesn't seem that bad. You guys ever wear a coat so uncomfortable you get hungry from it? Big Bang. We collect Big Bangs. What are you? Another Big Bang. Do we collect another Big Bang? Ah, ah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm in that dire need. An ID bone. We'll identify all your items. Absolutely. 20 damage. All of them. <laughs> I'm so many anonymous torturers. <laughs> oh, that would be a good, uh, good thing to call my viewers. The anonymous torturers. 
Okay, I do still need the ID thing, though. <sighs> I wonder if this means this is randomized all the time. Places the soul of a cat into the floor. Avoid colliding with the walls. Well, this is mysterious and, like, completely incomprehensible what that does. What did I drop here? Maybe... I, I need uh, I need to save a detox for the paralysis. I'm not gonna drop... Maybe I just inject myself with a level up. It's fine. It's fine. It's not optimal. But I'm just living my life here. Level 10 of what, like, floor 3? Floor 2. Hey, there we go. Here's Eliza. Please. Birth a sense sphere. I wish to birth a sense sphere to restore my insane mother. Are you the child of God? My weakening in the depths. Let us meet. Is Eliza the child of the god of creation and preservation? I suppose we probably all are. It literally is the god of creation and preservation after all. But maybe she's like a Jesus situation, you know? Impossible to tell, but interesting to ponder right now. Bro. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! I'll activate the HP vitality thing. I'll get poisoned by Kato. No skin off my back. Why are you guys- you guys feel extra tanky. Did you also stand on the HP vitality... brand? Okay, I can just detox here and pick up another free detox off the ground. Easy for me. A glass sword and a pro brand. I don't think I can use the fro brand anymore because I already tattooed myself. Yeah. Well, that would have been nice, but I think the pattern ID is gonna come in really handy in the later floors where there's a lot of patterns on the ground. Oh, it's mind reading thing. Just saw her on the corner. Yep. Maybe we get some new mind-reading information. Prosperity. Oh, that would have probably been really good. What's prosperity do? What do I drop here? Maybe I drop you for now. Prosperity. Prevents boxes from exploding. When opening boxes, your HP and vitality recover a little. Oh, okay. It's a little more situational than I thought it would be. That's not that crazy. Ooh, a homing bone? Nice. A mind reading thing. The image of a never can sometimes be seen within Master. Nearly identically and quite an entirely different person, it seems. Huh. So that's my brother. I suppose that's all you have to say. I will not hit you on accident. It's seen within me. Now I'm wondering, in that cutscene where Brother B tried to catch Brother A, and Brother A just disappeared, is Brother A always just an illusion? Is it maybe an implanted memory? Okay, we don't really... Don't really need a purification bone. Can that be the setup? I mean, implanted memories would make sense. Considering the whole nature of the training simulation. We already were being implanted memories or other instructions for what our mission is here. So why not go like the extra step? 
and give us like an imaginary brother. This is not the ideal scenario to be fighting Katos in. But we're strong as fuck, so it doesn't matter. I can kind of like two shot them. Also, I just remembered. I think, who was it? I think. I think it may have been like Sack thing that said you actually do just a little bit more damage if you attack them while running forwards. Definitely not enough to be like worth doing over uh, positioning. But might be worth doing in general. Hmm, I'm really considering eating two seeds in a row just to get the vitality max because we are we are losing it at an accelerated pace. And I guess I shouldn't be doing that actually because ah that was a misplay. Coffin man said that you can. You get 10 HP and vitality back every time you inject yourself. So I could have done an injection to cap out my... Uh, my VT, and then I would have had 20 extra instead of 10 extra. Okay, I need to... I need to remember that. Small floor. Small floor, but from, from small floors, big things may come. I wonder if this is gonna be 13 again in total, you know? How brave do I feel against the Glero? Oh, you, oh, you caught my ID, you caught my ID. I shouldn't feel that cavalier. I kind of thought that was dodging its attack, but I guess I wasn't. You know what? Get home done. No! You, you outspeed the bone? That's crazy. That's actually a little bit crazy. You're faster than the bone? What am I meant to do? In like... This was like the worst possible place to get attacked by a Gliro because it's just a fucking... It's just a corridor, so he just had like a direct line to run away from me. I'm just gonna say goodbye to the ID. Next time I see the Gliro, I'm just gonna fucking throw a bone at it instead. That was a big misplay on my part. And now I'm blind. <laughs> immediate, immediate roguelike hubris, thinking that I could just take on that Gliro. You don't have to play hyper-optimally, but you do have to respect your environment. Now he's just gone, where did he run off to? This feels like a- this, that looks like a new room, that looks like a room I should be, uh... Should get my vision back for. Yep, there we go. Okay, this is a uh, this is where Umin and Thurim hang out. Hey, did you guys see a Gliro run by here? You heard those cries of agony? The agony of the littles. Only gotta endure it for a bit longer though. I think there's a plan to make the littles destroy themselves after all. That doesn't seem good. I don't think we want to do that. I, that feels like evil. What if I give you this? You threw a box. The range and power are pretty. Oh. The range and power are pretty reasonable. Okay, I'll use the box for a ranged attack. I don't know if I want to destroy the littles. The littles, I think, are the, the little angels that. Every time I go into the tower, they're like running away and screaming in pain and fear and agony. Which, you know, I don't think I want to... I don't know if I want to be part of that. 
I don't even know what they are. So just kind of killing them feels a little excessive. I guess I should be just kind of using the injections, spare injections, use them as, as uh, like little pick-me-ups, little snacks of food. Because it's 10-10 each time, and that's not nothing. That's something that adds up. God, I'm really not taking that much damage. This uncomfortable coat, it kind of sucks for my VT, but it's kind of not bad for my HP. I say taking a lot of damage I didn't need to take. Okay. Just gonna do that. Didn't, didn't the meat get dropped? Yes, it did. Drop you. This is unknown flesh. Risky. It, the end of sentence. <laughs> Risky, and I don't think I need to eat it right now. I could ID it, probably. If only I had my ID worm. But that Gliro just kind of... Oh, here you, you motherfucker. Eat, eat stone bone. Eat, I guess I dropped the glass. Eat another stone bone. You just ate my ID worm. That doesn't exist anymore. Okay, let's do this. Let's actually do this. And eat the ID. Average meat and a diffusal. That could, that could be situationally quite handy. And here's the situation for it. Evolution. That's a level up item in there. So let's do this. Drop you. Infest the box. Open it. Recovery A. We'll take more, we'll take more attack, having 24 total now. Hey, Crypt Angel, buddy. Do I have anything for you? Not really. Love seeing you here, though. He kind of counts for two extra inventory slots that are, like, non, not guaranteed, <laughs> right? Like, I can put a thing on him. But he doesn't follow me constantly. He's not in every floor. Unlucky. I, speaking of unlucky, I don't think I even want to start engaging with those Gliros. Maybe we give the Crypt Angel this unlucky coat. Throw it on there. We'll figure out what to do with that later. And maybe we go do one more floor. One more floor for today. Just kind of working through these early stages. I think this is... Is this the floor 6? Is this where uh, strength starts showing up? The lightning women? It's either this or floor 7. And it, it, in my mind now, whenever the uh, strength women show up, that's that's where the game begins, you know. The first six floors are just kind of seeing uh, seeing how good an item loadout you can get. Thank kind of. I'm getting greedy with the hits. If I if I'm a little bit more patient with hits, the empresses are free, but I'm getting a little bit greedy and complacent. Hmm, not a single strength here. Maybe on the next floor.
Yeah, see, I have to bait the attack out and then punish him on it. I can't be the uh, initiator of the attack. Because if I let them melee me, they're very likely to actually just reach me with the lunge. But if I wait for them for to do the lunge, if I bait it out, that's a guaranteed punish. Speaking of lunging attacks, awful place to be fighting a 17. Just stuck in the corridor like that. Hey, Gerald. Gerald Rom... Romuald. Oh boy. Speaking of putting myself in corners, that was awful. You know, I think I'm just unceremoniously going to eat this average meat. <laughs> that was shameful. Well, I like, I did an analysis of how to attack them and then decided to not use the analysis. Really good, uh, really good uh, indication that maybe I should stop for now. <laughs> I'm getting lax and I'm getting... Uh, not necessarily impatient, but I'm like, I probably can take it. That shit's not gonna fly on floor 7. Floor 7, I need to lock in. Whenever the strength women appear... ...signifies a new tier of difficulty at which you have to be locking in. I feel like... I'm thinking about these early floors. I don't know how, ex how long the game is exactly, but I think in the future... If I have to redo these floors, like say I die or something, though I don't think I ever will, uh, I'm probably just going to like edit together any NPC dialogue that I run into, but I'm gonna skip the actual like play by play. Because we've seen these floors already a couple of times. I don't know if. The, ne the next one will be a bridge. This one... This one is fine. This this is, let's call this our, our last time in the first couple of floors. I'm surprised I didn't get any experience bones. I think I just have the two from the tutorial. And that's it. And, and this was the run where I was going to experience Max, and I bet you guys are watching here thinking like, Amos said that he was gonna experience Max, he said he was gonna pop those bones. What happened? Well, the thing that happened is I didn't get any experience bones. I think the moons are meant to drop them, and I just didn't get that lucky with the drops. On last run, I had like eight. I really should have been popping those things back then. What coat are you? An exposure coat. Powerful, but you feel the urge to take it off in front of grotesques. Well, when that... What's the point of that, then? <laughs> Does that just mean it's auto when equips? Oh, speaking of NPC encounters... Don't know if you guys noticed, but it's boxing in this room. Uh, where, where is he? Somewhere around here. Here you are. If it were possible, I wish that I had died instead of my daughter. Many are saying this. I'm not gonna hit him. <laughs> on accident. We have one more room. And I think the one more room is here. But let's check out that room and wrap up. Hey, Gerald. Oof, oof. You're hitting me even though I'm trying to do my thing. Oh, you're gonna explode? I don't think I have enough DPS to take out the full-size Jerry. When he starts doing the explosion maneuver.
I never, I never expect them to do a charge attack, even though they look exactly like the type of enemy that will do a charge attack. Wave. Sometimes cause a source to release a wave while attacking. I think that sounds awesome. Nothing can be branded. Okay, that's a self-brand as well. Well, presuming that I encounter a sense sphere in the future, maybe at the end of a run, or maybe next to Alice hanging out, I'm going to keep that wave for the next run. But for now, let's just proceed onwards. Let's hit the suspend button. I already did this kind of intro, but I'm just gonna suspend here and take off for now. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope I see you next time. Take care.